If you like this video, please consider supporting the Otakano channel over on Patreon. Thank you. This episode is brought to you by all those of you who use the affiliate links in my videos. If you are new to affiliate links, it's an amazing way to support this channel without costing you anything extra. I always list all the art supplies I use in each video. When you click on that link, it will take you to the Jackson's Art website. The price of items do not change for you at all. What happens is when you make a purchase, Jackson's will give back the channel a percentage of what you buy. Again, this does not cost you anything extra at all. As you can see in this video, every penny raised this way goes straight back into the channel. So thank you so much to all those of you who have used my affiliate links to make this episode possible. In this episode, we are taking a close look at Sugilite Genuine. Sugilite is a super sparkly, soft, muted purple. Sugilite is a relatively rare pink to purple cyclosilicate mineral. The mineral itself is usually intense bright purple, but the paint is a much more muted with low tinting strength. And watching the Daniel Smith video on this color, which I will link down below, it does look like they use a paler version of this mineral. Sugilite was first described in 1944 by a Japanese petrologist, Kenichi Sugi. And he is the person who the mineral Sugilite is named after. He first found them in the Iwagi Islets of Japan, but it is now mined in many locations around the world. I always paint the test sheets from dry paint and I have to admit this color was a little harder to re-wet than other colors. So I definitely recommend pre-wetting this color. Daniel Smith's website says, a beautiful granulating pigment from South Africa, Sugilite is another standout in our line of primitive colors. First found in 1944 and named for its Japanese discoverer, the rare opaque mineral range from greyish lavender to pink to deep purple. Transparent as a watercolor pigment, it combines subtle fuchsia pink and warm gray in a single strongly textural color. In a wash, the gray settles with the slight graphite-like sheen, while the pink rises to resemble the color in an overcast down sky. It's a great complement to golds, oranges and greens, including quinacridone gold and sap green. Sugilite Genuine is a series 3 colour. It is excellent in light fastness, transparent, low staining and granulating. We are back, the paints have dried and this is Sugilite Genuine and we just have sparkles everywhere. It is definitely a in your face sparkly colours. Look at that. Now the camera is just picking up a shine, I think, but it is definitely super sparkly, almost Christmassy color over here in real life. <laughs> it is so sparkly. Let's see if we can see. You see all that sparkle happening? It is packed with sparkles. It is one of the sparkliest of them all in the Primatech range. And it is a low tinting strength, so it is a faint color. It just adds sparkles to everything. I would actually use this like almost like it, as if it is a cool silver color because it has low tinting strength like most silver watercolors. It just adds all this sparkle to whatever color you add to. Like, all of these are now super sparkly and pretty colors. In terms of the gradated washes, it's very easy to create these gradated washes. And even when I do it pretty quickly on these squares, it does a fine job. In terms of opacity, it is classified as transparent. However, as I said in the previous video on Amethyst Genuine, I think when you have a sparkly color, I don't think you can ever classify it as a transparent color because you are always going to have this sparkly thing happening on top of your 
black line and it's packed with so much sparkle that you can't really say that that's transparent certainly on the test of painting it over a black line and seeing if you can see the deposits after it dries over the black line and as i always say if you'd like to take a closer look at any of these i do post the high resolution scan of all my test sheets over on my patreon page which is patreon.com forward slash autocano so please do go check it out in terms of lifting it's classified as low staining and i agree with that it lifts very easily to a white but you will still get the sparkles left over so like with any other sparkly paint you're never going to get rid of it once you put it down on paper in terms of glazing it's not very good at glazing because it's a very easily to lift color so when you try to paint the next layer as you can see here the layer below likes to lift up when it gets really wet with the second layer so i don't recommend glazing with this in terms of gauzing it did a fabulous job just like the amethyst in the last episode you can see that the granulation particle and the rest of the color separated so the lines created um is much darker than the background color and all the sparkles kind of concentrates on the line as well in terms of salting don't bother it doesn't do anything and neither does it do well in the water blooms in terms of mixing with other colors these are the 12 colors i mixed the sugilite genuine with and it's a really good mixing color because it doesn't have that much of a punch in terms of color and tinting strength on its own but it has so much sparkle so that if you want to make like a slightly paler version of the color you're mixing with but you just want to make it sparkle then this is a really good option even with like a yellow and the green which can get a little bit iffy when you're mixing with purple because it's very close to the complement color of purple it does fine it doesn't make it look too muted down i particularly love this kind of lovely lovely soft pinkish peach color that you get with the vermilion it's really really nice but just in general when you mix cigulite with any color you are going to get just super sparkly results like this it is everything just sparkles even the ultramarine will sparkle just sparkle sparkle it's just you're gonna get sparkles everywhere basically when you play with this color in terms of comparing with other colors there's not many colors on the market that compares to sugilite i personally would treat this as more of a metallic color because it has so much sparkle and i don't personally own many metallic colors in fact i don't own any metallic colors so i struggle to give you some good comparisons the only closer thing i had was the duochrome hibiscus which was just for the sparkliness more than anything I wanted to show you I don't know if you can see the duochrome sparkling alongside the mega sparkle diva of the sigillite but yeah it sigillite is more sparkly than a duochrome color in terms of hue I compared it with moon glow shadow violet lunar violet lunar red rock moon glow and shadow violet and again i struggled to find a color that was similar in hue i think moon glow might be the closest out of all of this in terms of hue but again moon glow is a very matte color whereas this is just a diva so if you want a diva on your palette that is easy to mix with other colors. I think the Sugilite Genuine is a really good option. It has more body in terms of the color than most metallic paints, and it's also an unusual metallic color. But that's how I would use it as, as a metallic sparkly color, rather than putting it in with the rest of my palette. I certainly would want to segregate 
the sugilite from the rest of my palette just to make sure that it doesn't transfer sparkles absolutely everywhere all over my palette because this packs so much sparkle that it can contaminate other colors very very easily so that was Sugilite Genuine. It is a fantastic color to mix with if you want to add some good amount of sparkle onto your mixes. What do you think of Sugilite Genuine? Me, personally, I really like it, but as I keep saying, I would segregate it as a metallic color and use it as that instead of trying to use it as a normal watercolor. If this video was interesting and useful to you, then please do give it a thumbs up and do let me know in the comments down below whether you would purchase Sugilite Genuine and if you already do have Sugilite Genuine on your palette do let us know how you use it because in particular with sparkly colors I think a lot of us don't know what to do with super sparkly colors and a lot of us get scared of trying them out so if you have good ways of using these super sparkly paints then please do let us know it will be an invaluable resource to all of us thank you so much for watching this video and thank you again to all those of you who used my affiliate links to make this episode possible and i will see you in the next video bye